basketball, crowds of people, lots of cheering and Browns fans, but we're not even talking about the dog pound. We're actually talking about the Black Keys. Yeah, 19's beginning has a story of the two fans hitting all the right notes and striking all the right chords. The Black Keys rock. I grew up, I mean, Dan and I both grew up huge Browns fans. Browns fans love the Akron duo, and the band loves the Browns. But wait! Guitars are kind of made to be smashed. They're smashing their instruments, putting on a show before the Browns home opener, walking out to 72,000 cheering fans, complete with drummer Pat Carney shaking his Browns pom-poms. My favorite part was getting to uh, indulge the pom-pom usage. We played to much bigger crowds, but we've never had to smash uh, guitars on. <laughs> Big amps. I probably would have smashed it even harder after the game. Harder because it was the same old song, another Browns loss. Carney and Dan Auerbach now living in Nashville and the Black Keys traveling the world, but they've never forgotten Northeast Ohio. As a Cleveland fan, you know, you know that feeling all too well. Learning how to like take it on the chin. It's part of being a, a Northeast Ohioan. Did you ever think about maybe changing the name of the band to the Browns Keys? I mean, we could do a temporary change. But never the brown and orange keys? I mean, I think if we were going to do like a browns thing, we would be the oranges and have a brown helmet. But like the group that continues to sing the hits for their devoted followers, the browns will try to make sweet music for their fans as well. I like the team. I love the team. For Operation Orange, Vic Gideon, 19 News.